Okay, welcome to in Intermediate Lesson Week 4. Um, this week I'm going to take time to go back and do what we call a counting review. So we're moving on from the algebra stuff we did the first three weeks to more counting th principles. Most of you have seen these, especially if you've taken um, pre-algebra from me. If you haven't taken pre-algebra yet, then you will see it, or if you took it maybe a few years ago, maybe um, you didn't see these. And so I just want to do a quick review. Okay, the fundamental theorem of or counting says that um, if... Um, there are um, independent groups of objects. Okay, so we've got independent groups of objects. Objects. So, if I may, for instance, maybe there are um, you've got ten cards, decks of cards, um, five um, pencils, and eight books. Okay, so those would be independent uh, groups of objects. Okay, so if the independent if there are independent the independent groups of objects, and um, you want to select one from each, then multiply together how many are in each group. So for instance, um, the way this works is, let's say for that you have, um, the example I gave you, let's say you have, and I don't remember the numbers, but you, you want to pick a card, you want to pick a, um, a card, you want to pick a pencil, one pencil, and one book. So you, you just get to, you get to select one of each of these. How many different ways can you do it? Well, there are 10 ways that you can pick the card, so we let that be the 10. I think I said there were eight pencils, so there are eight ways that you can select a pencil, and I don't remember how many books I said, but let's say it's four. So the fundamental theorem of counting says that 10 times eight times four equals 320. There are 320 ways that you can make this selection. Okay, this is um, done for any independent event. That's where you use these, um, independent events. And that means you've got things that don't have anything to do with each other. Um, there are all kinds of examples of when this is used. Um, it's used whenever you're doing things like rolling a die. Each time you roll a die is independent of the previous roll. If I roll a five, that, do that doesn't mean that I can't roll a five the next time. Um, it would be flipping a coin. If I flip a heads, that doesn't mean that there isn't a heads the next time. And so, for instance, if you flip four heads, how many different combinations are there? Well, each time you've got two heads... And so there's 2 to the 4th, or 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which equals 16 ways to flip 2 and get different combinations out of your four, head, your four flips. Right? You could have heads, 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 or heads, tails, heads, heads, or heads, heads, tails, tails. All these different combinations, and there turns out to be 16 because it's 2 times 2 times 2. Those are when you use independent events. Permutations is just a subgroup of the fundamental theorem. Okay, and what a permutation says is um, it deals with non-independent um, events or dependent events where order matters. And so what this means is whenever you select something from the object or from the group, um, then usually then your, your next choice is affected by the previous choice. Um, for instance, maybe there are um, six people, and you want to line them up. Well, you have six options for the first person. Okay, they're, they're in line. There are the six people, you get to pick six of them. However, for the next person in line, there are only five options because you've already selected one. And then four times three times two times one. And so your answer to this problem is there are 720 ways that six people can order themselves in a line. Now, if order didn't matter, then that would be a combination, which we're going to study in a second. If you're just grabbing, if you're just saying, how many ways can I select six people out of six? doesn't matter what order I select them. It just matters of selecting them. Okay? So these are permutations when order matters. You could do a problem that said, there are eight people in a group. How many ways can I um, select for them and put them in a line? Well, you're getting four people from this group, so you do eight times seven times six times five. 
And because they're put in a line, then that's a permutation, so you just leave it as it is. The notation we use is MPN. And what that means is you start and do M times M minus 1 times M minus 2. So like for instance, you know, this was M was 6. It'd be 6 permute 6. And so it'd be 6 times 6 minus 1 is 5 times 6 minus 2 is 4. You can see where these are coming from. And then that goes all the way down until you do um, M minus, and then it actually turns out to be N plus 1, or N minus 1. Right, because on this one, um, actually it just goes M, uh, so 6 times 5 all the way down to, you're not going to do, if we did 6 permute 6, it's not going to be, um, we're not going to do 6 minus 6 because that'd give us 0. We're actually going to do um, 6 minus 5, which would give you 1 for that last one. And so it's always one less because this first term you didn't subtract anything from. And that's always going to be the case on permutations. Combinations are when you select a certain number of people or of things. We'll call that N from a group of M things. Okay, so you've got a group of M things laying around. You want to pick or select N of them. Okay, so maybe you have 12 things uh, sitting around and you want to select two of them. How many ways can you do this? Well, the reason this is different is because with combinations, order doesn't matter. If I'm in gym class and selecting a team, it doesn't matter the order I pick people. My team's going to be the same no matter what order I pick them in. Okay, so the way we do combinations is the notation is um, you got n thi m things, and you want to choose n of them. It's like that, and it's always going to be on top um, m minus n. Um, oh, my bad. It's going to be m factorial over n factorial times m minus n factorial. Now what turns out to happen is you can do a shortcut by using permutations and just say m permute n over m minus n factorial. So if I do um, 8 choose 4, it's going to be 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 because that's 8 permute 4, right? You just count down 4 to get to 8 permute 4 over well, m minus n is 8 minus 4, which would be 4, over 4 factorial, which is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And so 8 choose 4 is just 8 times 7 times 6 times 5. You go down 4 over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is just that n factorial. Okay, so just real quick, let's talk about some examples. Sycamore is putting together a committee of three consisting of a teacher, a middle school student, and an elementary student. If there are 30 teachers, 145 middle school students, and 133 elementary students, how many committees are possible? Well, these are independent events. Whenever you have independent events, you always use the fundamental theorem. So the num there are 30 ways to select from the teachers, 145 middle school students, and 133 elementary. So you just multiply that together, and you get a very big number, which is 578,550 is the number of different committees that could be formed by our school if you went by those numbers. Okay, so that's a fundamental theorem of counting problem. Example two, how many ways can nine people order themselves in a line? Well, this is like we, I talked about the one with six people. There are nine ways to do the first, eight to do the second, all the, and since it's all nine people, it goes all the way down to one, which is just nine permute nine. And you multiply that out, and you get um, 362,880. So there's that many different lines that can be formed from a group of, of nine. And then the last one, how many ways can four people be chosen from a group of set? Four or twelve people be chosen, four people be chosen from a group of twelve. That's just twelve choose four. Remember it's count down four on the top from the twelve, divided by four factorial. Remember you can do lots of cancellations. Those cancel, that cancel, so you end up with eleven times five times nine, um, which turns out to be four hundred and ninety-five, which is your answer. That's a good quick review. You'll have some different problems. If you got questions, like I said, check out the other videos.